Hello everyone, this is problem 82 of chapter 4. So, uh, part A of the, of the problem asks us to solve for the uh, horizontal distance to the rocks when the seagull lets go of the clam. Um, so, as you can see, part A says solve for the distance. Uh, what's given to us is, um, we know we could figure out the, the, the final displacement of the clam and that's that's because when it hits the ground it should be negative eight meters because it's eight meters above the ground and we know uh, the initial velocity would just e be equal to zero because it's got to start from a zero uh, velocity uh, so using these two numbers we could uh, use this equation right here to plug in I got negative eight right here the zero velocity um, this cancels out, so we don't need it. We don't need to worry about that anymore. And we're solving for t, uh, t squared. So that's what it comes out to be: 1.277 seconds. Uh, from this, we could plug it in because uh, we know the, the the velocity, the final velocity, is six meters per second. Uh, we could solve for the distance, which would be 7.66 meters, and that would be the the, the horizontal distance. Uh, from which the seagull is at. For part B, it asks us to find the final velocity uh, relative to the rocks uh, when when the clam smashes into them. So um, so we got our uh, v of x equals uh, six meters per second. Uh, we can use this formula right here: uh, a y component equals delta v y component. Uh, over delta t. So we know the acceleration is just negative eight, uh, 9.8 .8 meters per second and um, you know v of f of y we know is the initial velocity of zero over uh, the time 1.277 seconds which we found earlier. Uh, so um, yeah when we solve for v of f we end up getting 12.5 meters per second in the y direction. Uh, so we can just add the two uh, x and y components, square root them, and we get v equals 13.87 meters per second. Uh, so there's a part C to the problem. I didn't I didn't uh, get around to uh, put it on the whiteboard, but part C is just asking to find the speed relative to the seagull, which that's just the y component of uh, 12.25 right here, oh, sorry, 12.5 meters per second. And that's just because that's what the seagull sees as the clam is falling down to the, to the uh, earth and when it crashes into the, the rock itself.